This week on Prime Revolution, we're here at uh, Nathan Olmstead's place, Canadian River Ranch. Seeing lots of deer. It's not the deer yet. Yeah, you know, I feel pretty lucky. I live in a very diverse state. You a little bit of everything. It snowed last night. It's good and bad. He's heavy, Mike. He's really heavy, actually. The traditions of the outdoor sportsmen are more important than ever, and it's up to us to pass them on to others. Two families, one passion to inspire the next generation of ethical hunters and conservationists, continuing the legacy of hunting and fishing in the outdoors. Prime Revolution, we're here at uh, Nathan Olmstead's place in uh, right on the New Mexico border in Texas, Canadian River Ranch. I uh, love Texas as per always. Uh, we're hunting for mule deer, elk, and all dead. What day is it today? You know? uh, oh, I lost count. Let's see. Uh, four? Day four. And we are hopefully going to go out and get Joe. I think what the plan is is maybe go and try to find that big mule deer that we saw yesterday. He's pretty good. He's pretty awesome. Hopefully he's in the same area. And I know Joe. I've got 100% confidence that if we do find him, he can get him down. So really excited, actually. Mike's up and about today. And we're going to get her done. Seeing lots of deer. It's not the deer yet. We're trying though. It's been a rough last couple ones. I can tell you that. It's so warm right now that I think everything's tucked in. And Gotta do a lot more glass than the one usually do when it's 20 degrees out when it's 70. A lot of good up and comers. Just gotta find the big boy. So Texas, you know, being born and raised in Texas, you know, I feel pretty lucky. I live in a very diverse state. Uh, so we have, you know, South Texas, predominantly white tailed hill country, you get a little bit of everything. And you get up here uh, in the panhandle up in the high plains and you can get you know, some of the best free range hunting, I think, in the country. You have really good elk hunting, you have really good mule deer hunting, you have good whitetail hunting, and the waterfowl hunting is incredible. And now with the release of all dad uh, back in the 60s and 70s, now you have really good all dad hunting uh, coming out of the Paladero Canyon, uh, and they've kind of migrated up this way as well. So 
in this region of Texas, it's a little different than the rest of the state, but the, the game and the hunting opportunities are very diverse and very good. He's heavy, Mike. He's really heavy, actually. Perfect. Dude, he is like super heavy. He's a beautiful buck. A little weak on the fronts, but it don't matter. He's friggin' heavy. Look at that. Oh yeah. Dude, he's heavier. Hell. Oh, he's heavy. Cool buck. Beautiful. Beautiful buck. deer. He's heavy. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Wow. Yeah, I would uh, like to thank my buddy Caleb Wright for setting this trip up down here in uh, Texas with uh, with Nathan Olmstead. He's a great guy. He runs a great outfit, and uh, just wanted to say thanks to Nathan for having us down here, man. This is, this is really cool. Got a giant uh, Texas mule deer on the ground, and couldn't be happier. So thanks to Nathan and Caleb and my wife and son for being here, and it's a great family trip. And go get some more on the ground, hopefully. It snowed last night, and it's really, really cold this morning, so it's good and bad. On the, on the bad front, it's gonna be icy and slippery, and on the good, it's hopefully the, you know, as soon as the sun starts to come up, the, the deer will get up and start moving around, and hopefully we'll, we'll find a good buck for Joey. Dude, just, I'm out of words. I'm Dude, he's like excited. Buck. That's yeah, a great, great deer. Buck. Just a great buck. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Little man! Oh my god, I'm so happy for you, man. Oh! Oh my god! Nice deer. Yeah. That is he awesome broke deer. off. Yeah, he's broke off right here. I couldn't be more happy with him. I mean, look at all the character he's gotten. With the help of my parents and our guides, Nathan and Bobby and LJ and Kevin for spotting him too. You know, I wouldn't have been able to do it without 
all of them, you know, it was a team effort and I just couldn't be happier. I'm truly speechless at how amazing this deer is. You met some amazing people that'll be <laughs> lifelong friends and told Nathan, I said, now you can't get rid of me, so. <laughs> I, ho I hope he likes me because I'm not going anywhere. We've got a lot of stuff to kill over the next 30, 40 years. Before Super Joe, proud of Before Joe. Joey puts me in a wheelchair. But, uh, <laughs> Great shot, great stock. He's been hunting hard for days and spotting, glassing many, many hours, and we just couldn't be more proud of. And Bobby kill them all, turned them up this yeah. morning again. Yeah. So yeah. Here we are. <laughs> couldn't be happier. Good job, Joe. Congratulations, yeah, man. man. Appreciate it. That was a beautiful buck. Love, and, uh, <laughs> Love you, Mama. Love you.